Google Docs are great for collaborating with others. You can share the documents, you can set permissions for them to be able to view the documents. You can also have a chat if more than one user is within the live document at the time. You can also see what the other user, what line their cursor is, and any changes that they're making, any selections that they're making can be viewable by the other users. And whenever they hover over it, they can see which user has highlighted that content. So I've just got a number of copies opened within the same of the same document across a few different accounts in order to be able to see all the different users that are all the different users that are currently within the document. You can send them messages as well and update the permissions either using the content, either using the drive or within the share button. When you create a Google Doc, there can only be one owner for the doc. You can see the ownership within the drive. So I'm just selecting the document that I'm working on and under the share options, this is where you can see who has collaboration rights and what permissions are set on the document. You can also see this within the document itself. So every document will have one owner and then others can be either editors or viewers. Editors are allowed to interact with the content. Viewers are only able to see the content. You can also share the document by updating the link. So now you can change it to be restricted to anyone with uh, permissions so that uh, has to have permissions in order to see the document currently. Uh, we can also change it to anyone with the link and then copy the link. So this makes it shareable, but this also makes the document fairly open. So it is suggested that you do keep your document shares to either the editors or the viewers, and you don't just openly open up the document unless this is something that you do want to share with everyone. If you do open it up, it's gonna provide you another option here where anyone with the link and they can act as viewers. You can even have users as editors or commenters on the document. So I'm gonna go back to the restricted version and go back to done. Go into the document. I've got the document opened on several accounts within the same account. And this one here, I'm gonna just highlight. And now when I go back over to my other document, I can see that this content is highlighted by the other user. So I am the same user, but I do have two opened versions of the same document opened within the web browser. And this is how the collaboration works, is if others are using the document, you can actually see what others are doing within the document in real time. So let's go ahead and we're gonna add some other users to the document. So within the doc itself, just as we saw within the drive, there's several ways to do this. So you can also email the document so email the document as a file, or you can email the collaborators. Right now, I only just have the one uh, collaborator, which is the owner, which is my account. I'm gonna add another user into this account to provide them permissions. So if this user going into the account tries to access it, they're gonna get the need, your, uh, you need access, and you can provide a request access. So this is what they see when they don't have access to the account and they can request access if they don't have access. And now if you go into your Gmail, so there's the user requesting access to the document. So we can open it and I can set the permissions directly within the email for the user to be either an editor or commenter or viewer, or I can also select within the document to provide those permissions. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that user as an editor. And then now when they refresh, they're gonna be able to access the document. They can also see the other users that are currently in the document. So this is the original account that I was using, and then this is the new account. So now in this version, I've got it highlighted in pink. So any changes that are being made are automatically gonna be visible, and it's also gonna show which user is making the commenting. There's also a chat that you can have between the users. So this is just a quick communication tool when there are more than one user within the document and this provides a way to communicate information. We've got the chat, so unread information within the chat and that can pop up that information. Also within the share document, share settings, this is the same as what we see within the drive where I've got the two users. I can update their permissions to viewer commenter. I can also transfer the ownership since my main account is the owner of this Google Doc. Now we'll go back to the email. When we email the file or email the collaborators, this gives us a quick way to send a message 
to all of the collaborators. So it's going to be sending to all of the collaborators on the document. So you can send it within the editors. It's going to list out how many editors are available within the document. So that just sent out an email. You can also email the file. So that will just send a copy of the file. And if you are sending a copy to somebody that doesn't have access, it'll ask you to provide them access within the share permissions. You can do that directly within the email as it's sent out. It will be able to detect if that user doesn't have permissions to see the document that you're trying to share with them. It will ask you to set those share permissions. Now that there are other users on the document, so if we were to provide comments, so adding in a comment, there's also the shortcut for comment, suggesting edits and adding in a comment. So I'm going to go ahead and add a comment at this part within the document. You can also select and add others to the comment. The at symbol or the plus sign. You can also assign to other users a particular comment. So that's now going to be assigning a comment to another user. And then at any point you can edit, delete or link to the comment. So these comments are going to be also visible to the other users that they're going to be able to see who it's assigned to and then who's been mentioned within the comments. When you are in the suggestion mode where you can add the comment because everything is going to be suggested. Uh, if you go into the editing mode, you're going to have the comment and the suggest edits. If you go into the viewing mode, there's aren't going to be able to add comments. So these are only for the editors and for the commenters to go back from the viewing mode can click the top menu here and go back into the editing mode that we were in originally. When you are working with others, it's important to maintain which document is the core one that you are editing. So you can download it as a Google Doc and then you can also upload a Google Doc and work with the Doc version within the drive directly. So I'm just uploading the Doc that I just downloaded and when I open up the Doc, it's going to open up the Google Doc in Google Docs and using the docx extension. So you can see the difference here between this document and the one that I was currently working on and it's just using the doc, the Word, Microsoft Word format instead. So other thing to note is as well that now we do have two versions of the document with the same name. So if you do work with others, it is important to give the name of the document to give it a specific name so that you can distinguish it as well within the drive you know which one is the one that's the working copy and which one is the one that was uploaded. So best practices are to make sure that you keep your files organized within the drive, give them specific names so that you and everyone else that's working on it, that's collaborating on it, knows the differences between the versions.